Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Silvestro and I am back at you with another video. So I was a little bit under the weather for the last few days, so I've not been filming and I've been like not posting as much, but feel free to subscribe and ring the bell and do all that because now I am back and doing that again. So today we are here reacting to Lavender Haze by Taylor Swift, the music video which just came out. And if you don't know, I am a total complete Swifty, love her so much. So this is like my Swifty reaction and my singer reaction and we will get into it right now So good yeah i actually do i keep on like getting so invested i forget to talk but i love the little like mastermind easter egg and honestly what's really crazy about this album in general i would love to do like a full album review i know a lot of people do like the going through with the album of taylor swift and like go through and rank their faves i would love to do that if you guys are interested um but yeah anyways as i was saying so I love how, like, this album, there were some really depressing themes, but overall, like, the music was always kind of uplifting, so it masked the sadness and, like, the the pain that Taylor was going through, and I think that's, like, something when I first listened to the album, she talked about how, like, there was a lot of struggle that went through making it, but I didn't hear it sonically until I started fully listening to all the lyrics, but yeah, we will continue. She's so beautiful. Cause like it's just such a good, it's such a pretty way to to communicate this um, phenomenon. I think she even talked a little bit about what lavender haze means, and it was a term that she found online, and it kind of like described exactly like falling in love and all of that, and not wanting to escape that. Continuing, I love her eye makeup. She's so beautiful. Love her. It's such a good song, like, the instrumental's just so good, oh my gosh. I find it dizzying, yeah, oh yeah, they're bringing up my history, yeah, oh yeah, but you won't even listen to yeah, oh yeah. She is so beautiful. Like this, oh, this, this view, the cinematography. Ah! Obsessed, obsessed with this visual. like with the with the purple theme i love it it's just so beautiful so good the fish so cute she's so beautiful like Guys, 
guys, I don't know how we always get perfection from her. She's just so good. And I honestly, this album was something that took a while to grow on me, if I'm being honest. Not a while, but like it definitely took a few listens and everything. And I loved Lavender Haze from the beginning though, because I thought it was just always so hypnotizing. I loved the like the the backing track, just the overall synth pop um nature of the track it was just so it's just so whimsical and beautiful which is the whole point like I feel like it totally ma- matches well with just the concept of Lavender Haze I feel like she brings you into Lavender Haze which is how they produce the song in general and I honestly love it very much and the music video was beautiful as I expected there was a lot of lavender and there's a lot of smoke and yeah, I just really think that this song does such a beautiful job of portraying just like the beginning stages of a relationship, just like a very love-inspired track, just kind of shows like being hopeless, hopelessly and endlessly in love with someone. I think she also connected this to Joe and how like, how when the whole world finds out about your relationship, everyone definitely has something to say about it. But in this case, as you can see by the lyrics, like Joe or the person they're referring to, doesn't care about what everyone else is thinking, doesn't care about, like, her whole situation through rep and everything. Like, they loved her for her and didn't, like, let other people's opinions weigh in. So I think this this track, I'm so glad it's towards the beginning of the album because I just think it's a beautiful one, and I love everything about it, the production, the vocals, and I think now, like, the music video is, like, the holy trinity of what we needed. And also the lyrics are so beautiful, too. They're, like, very simple, simple for her, but obviously... They all, I feel like with this album, it wasn't like her best lyrics of all time because I think Folklore and Evermore are definitely the best she's ever lyrically, the best lyrics she's ever written because she had so much freedom to explore that storyline and it gave her so much creative, um, it gave her so much creative liberty. So I still think that's like the best, those are the best written albums, but I still think that this album is like a more mature version of her pop writing it basically kind of reminds me of like a more matured lover you know or like some I don't know that's kind of like the perception I have and I have learned to love this album very much and I do appreciate how every song has like a very distinct storyline slash message and everyone has a very distinct theme it's not all about the same thing which is not a bad thing but I do appreciate that diversity and yeah, I love Lavender Haze. I could talk about Taylor Swift all day long. I love her very much. I really wish I was going to the concert, but unfortunately I did not get tickets. But if someone wants to donate some, I would totally love that. But um, yeah, feel free to check out anything in the link below. There's music. There is uh, covers. I've done tons of covers of Taylor Swift because I love her very much. So I'll link some of those below. And feel free to let me know what you thought about this music video. I feel like it's a beautiful one. I love it very much. And I love the song. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell.